Greetings, First English family and friends. Welcome to Monday, November 28th, 2022. Hope you had a wonderful weekend, Thanksgiving holiday weekend, and you got a chance to worship either online or in person. We had a wonderful worship service Thanksgiving Eve out at St. Andrew. Uh, St. Andrew, Good Shepherd and First English, and St. Stephen's was out there. Just a really wonderful worship service out there. And hope you got a chance to be either be there or uh, watch it online. It's on our Facebook page. You can connect there. Also had first Sunday of Advent worship yesterday. Hope we got a chance to worship there, either online or in person. Uh, Thanksgiving for us, we hosted the dinner here for the Levine clan. So that was a lot of fun. Got to see uh, just his brother Jason and his wife Kelly and our favorite nieces Paige and Olivia and our favorite nephew Davis. So that was a lot of fun. Got to see them. And then on Friday, we... Uh, Jess and I and Bobby and Barry went over to Minnesota and met my parents and my sister at Caleb and Taylor's house. So had another Thanksgiving dinner there on Friday and then celebrated Charlotte's first birthday on Saturday. So yeah, got back here yesterday afternoon and yeah, it was just a really, really good weekend. And now reality sets in. We got to set an alarm and get up in the morning <laughs> and get, get to work. Yeah. So hope you had a wonderful weekend as well. Yesterday was the first Sunday in Advent, so we are starting our Advent devotional, Prophets and Promises, and our writer for the first section here is Harvard Stevens Jr., pastor and musician living in Annapolis, Maryland. And so we have a picture, we have a, a scripture reading, a to ponder quote, and then the devotion, and then a prayer. So, uh, oh, check in time. Oh, we gotta do the weather. Whether it's, it's a blue sky, some high clouds out there, about 29 degrees here at the house, gonna be a beautiful day. And I think we're expecting some snow tomorrow. So I'll check the forecast tomorrow and see how that goes. And check in time with you, how are you all doing? Hope and pray that you are healthy and safe and well. No coffee this morning, I'm gonna have coffee with the crew at the fire station, but uh, got my Minnesota Vikings water glass here. So cheers, church. So yeah, they won on Thursday night, beat the Patriots. And then the Gophers won on Saturday, beat the Badgers for Paul Bunyan's Axe. That's two years in a row. And if you recall, uh, Charlotte was born last year on November 27th, uh, just in time to see the Badgers lose the Axe to the Gophers. So happy birthday, Charlotte. So our Devo, again, <laughs> comes from Prophets and Promises. There's the picture there. A candlelight there, maybe a candlelight vigil. Maybe even uh, Christmas Eve, Silent Night. No, we'll see. I don't know if that explains it in the Devo or not. So our, our scripture reading is Psalm 122, verses 1 to 4. I was glad when they said to me, let us go to the house of the Lord. Now our feet are standing within your gates, O Jerusalem. Jerusalem is built as a city that is at unity with itself, to which the tribes go, to which the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord the assembly of Israel, to praise the name of the Lord. And the two ponder part is a quote from Gordon Lathrop in a book called Holy Things. We need to have a place that is here, connected to these streets, giving a center to this land, welcoming us to our own participation in the integration of human identity with a peaceful place in, an, in the natural world. The meeting for church is such a place. And the Devo is titled, The Light We Share, and Pastor Harvard, Stephen, St Harvard Stevens writes, the ancient Israelites made pilgrimages to Jerusalem's holy temple to worship in God's presence. During the four weeks of Advent, we too make a pilgrimage to the coming of Christ. Advent candles mark our progress through this time of preparation. We light candles as we ponder the mysteries of the light of the world. Whether our lives overflow with joy or we find ourselves struggling with adversity, we believe, we believe that the light of Christ has come and, is, and still is found among us. It honors and illuminates the sacred spaces that we are blessed to find in our churches, in our communities, in our homes, and especially in our hearts. Rest your feet and warm your heart in the company of those God sends to, sends to be near you. The light we share is a sign of the presence of Christ. A couple of weeks ago, we did accolade training and talked about the importance of light in the worship space. 
and candles and how it was an honor for to serve as an acolyte and to bring the light of Christ into the worship space. That's that's the uh, the job of the acolyte. And we have the, the angled um, candelabra with the cross in the middle. And I tell them, I teach the acolyte, they don't, they don't always pick up on this, but I teach them to start at the top candle and go down. That symbolizes the light of Christ coming into the worship space as they light the candles. And then when they extinguish him, to start at the bottom and go back up to symbolize the light of Christ returning from the worship space back, back to Jesus. And then they, they don't always uh, follow through on that, but that's what I teach them anyway. Uh, but the, the candles get lit one way or the other. That's the important thing. And then the uh, motto of First English, our mission statement or whatever you might want to call it, is share the light of Christ. So we end each worship with, with the directive, go in peace, love one another, and share the light of Christ. So we go out from our worship space where we've been filled with Christ's light to go and share that light with others uh, from uh, dur during during the workday during the week, so and uh, so that's what we're we are called to do is to share that light of Christ with others. Um, I thought there was one more thing I was going to say, but I don't remember it at this time. So maybe tune in tomorrow, I might remember. So uh, be of strong heart, and good courage this day, dear church. Keep yourself safe and healthy and well. Uh, wash your hands, wear your mask, distance as appropriate to do all that good stuff. We do these things to show love to our neighbor and share the light of Christ. Let's pray. Thank you, dear Lord, for the light of your love. Let it shine in our hearts today. Amen. Blessings upon you this day. Peace.